Hello crafty friends, it's Courtney Brickner, owner of The Crafty Brick. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a little secret today because I have a secret Valentine and I'm making her a little present to send off. So my secret Valentine is Aunt Auntie Tay and this is from Heat Transfer Warehouse who decided to do these fun secret Valentines. I have a list of things that she likes, colors that she likes. So she likes hot pink and yellow. So I designed um, a hot pink and yellow picture. And she also likes giraffes, relaxing and journaling. So my gift to her is going to be a mug so that she can relax with her coffee or tea, whatever she likes. I have a journal that I'm going to add a picture to to customize the front of it. And then I have this little puzzle box. I'm going to make a puzzle with a picture that I designed that has her favorite colors and her favorite animal. And then I will be putting the puzzle in this box and customizing the top of it with this sublimation um, tin or sublimation plaque that I can sublimate on and then put on the box so it shows what the puzzle is. So this is from Heat Transfer Warehouse and so is the mug. I'm excited to get this package together. I will show you how I make these things and then put it together and send it to Anite and I hope she likes it. So let's get started. All right, first I'm gonna design the sticker that we're gonna be putting on the cover of this journal. So I'm going to add a square, there we go, to our canvas and I need it to be eight by six because that is the size of our journal. So I'm gonna go down here to the bottom right corner, change the dimensions to eight by six. And then I am going to import the giraffe picture that I have. So let's see if I can find that. Oh, this is the one I want. Look at that cute giraffe. I love this. So I'm going to cut this out as a sticker. And you see the blue lines along it. That's where it's going to cut. So let's go ahead and click next. I'm going to move this over here and move that there. So the reason that it was kind of blurred out, like you see, you can't really see it very well. That's because it's outside of the registration marks, the cut area. So when I move it onto the cut area, then we are good to go. And I kind of want it to be pretty big so it fills up most of the cover of the book. All right, I think that that is a good size. Now we will click, let's delete that square because we don't need it. We just need the giraffe. Let's send our design to cut or to print first. We're gonna send it to the printer first. And then once we print it out, we'll come back and click the bottom canvas and that's our cutting contour. So we'll start with this one. Let's go ahead and send it to our printer. All right, I'm using my Epson 2800 to print this out and I've got glossy paper. So we'll print it out and then we will take it to Juliet to cut. Look at that. So pretty. I love the colors of that giraffe. Okay, since we are, this material has a backing, we don't need to use a mat for it. What we're going to do is just put it in the machine and we're going to place the blade so it's right inside this little L bracket there. Let's go ahead and put that in. And then we will move our blade so it's right inside that bracket. And then on our computer, we will go down to that second canvas there because we already printed. Now we're going to cut and then we'll go over here and click send to cutter and click yes. And then Juliet is reading the cut line, the registration marks. Okay. 
take our paper out. We've got our journal here. Let's go ahead and remove our sticker and place our sticker right on our journal. So cute. So a little giraffe journal. Now we'll do our mug and our puzzle. here. Let's go ahead and cut this excess paper. And then we'll tape our puzzle on. And we'll be ready to press that. So we get our puzzle here. Let's get a little heat tape. Let's get this taped on. All right, that one's ready to press. Now we will do our cover. Let's remove the film that's on here. And we will put this in place. All right, tape that down. thing we want to do is cut our mug paper. And we'll get the lint off of our mug. tape our mug design into place. All right, everything's ready to be pressed. All right, I've got my Walla Press automatic mug press here. I'm going to put our protective paper on the outside. Go ahead and put this in and push the button so it closes. And then we will be ready to see it when it comes out. Go ahead and take it out and set it right here to cool for a bit. All right, let's go ahead and take off the tape on here. And see our mug. Look at that pretty color and our giraffe. I love it. And I've got my protective paper here my puzzle, put that with the paper facing up. Make a little sandwich here to protect my press. I'll go ahead and push it in and press. All right, let's open and see our reveal. Ooh, look at these colors. Already got a little sneak peek.
Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. All right, now we'll do the lid. All right, we'll put the lid in. The paper facing up. And change this to 60 seconds. So we're doing 400 at 60 seconds for this one. The puzzle was 400 at 70 seconds. This one's 400 at 60 seconds. All right, let's open up this one. Fabulous. So this is the lid of our puzzle box. All right, I've got my lid here. Let's go ahead and peel off the adhesive. And then we will stick this right on here. Perfect. So there's the lid to our puzzle. And then we will take our puzzle and put it in here. So here is our final product. We've got the puzzle, a mug, journal, and then the box to put the puzzle in. I think it's such a cute secret Valentine present. I hope Auntie Tay likes it. Thank you so much for joining me today for revealing my secret Valentine. Thanks to Heat Transfer Warehouse for um, letting me participate in this. I'm excited to send a little fun Auntie Tay's way and I hope she really likes it. So to recap, we've got the mug with the giraffe on it. Her favorite colors are hot pink and yellow. So that's why I chose the hot pink and yellow. And her favorite animal is a giraffe. Giraffe or labradoodle, I think she said. So I want the giraffe. Here's the puzzle box and then the puzzle. You can get these items at Heat Transfer Warehouse. Check the link in the description and you'll get the information for that. And I really, really appreciate you hanging with me today. I know your time is valuable, so I love that you chose to spend some of it with me. I will be back next week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss anything crafty. And I'll see you soon. But until then, stay crafty, my friends. Bye.